What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Bitcoin Daily. It is I, Bitcoin J, here with you guys today. We're going to be talking about the top down analysis. Um, before we jump in, make sure to like the video, make sure to leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel, man. We are on our way to 10K. We're trying to get 10K subs by the end of the year. Help us reach that goal. Um, and then also, Remember the giveaway, we're gonna have a question of the day at some point during this video. Um, so all you gotta do to enter the giveaway is answer the question in the comments below and we will pick one random person um, at the end of the day. Um, that's about it, let's jump right in guys. So top down analysis, this is what I use every single day anytime I am looking for a trade. Um, this is how I go through the, you know, anything I'm looking at, stocks, crypto, whatever it is. This is how I can go through charts very quickly because I just look at the top. I start at the top and then if I see something interesting, then I'll get, I'll zoom in a bit more and, and look at, you know, at the bottom, uh, get, get down into the dirty, the dirty, which is, you know, the lower time frames. Um, so let's, let's get into it, man. Um, what is a top-down analysis? A top-down analysis is a, is looks at the big picture first for an investment idea or selection of stocks. Um, it's used to get a more comprehensive views view of a security's price action by moving from wider time frames to narrower ones. A day trader may first analyze daily or weekly charts to determine a security's long-term, longer-term trend, as well as a, a as a significant. Oh my God, I can't speak today. As well as a significant support and resistance level, and then move to a smaller time frame to establish a good entry point. For example, if a security is trending higher on the daily chart and there is a bullish momentum on the hourly chart. A trader who is using a top-down analysis could then move to a 15-minute chart and find a good entry point for their long position. All right, guys, we're not going to waste any more time. Let's get right into the charts so we can view this. Um, I didn't want to give you guys too much PowerPoint today. Um, wanted to get more into the visual learning aspect of this today. So let me make sure everything is. you guys can see everything. Okay, perfect. All right, so when looking at charts, um, the way I like to do it, usually I'll roam around between the one hour, I mean, I'm sorry, not the one hour, between the four hour and daily charts. Okay, I know how to speak English, guys. I, I swear I could do it. I just, I swear I, I got this. All right, so usually, I roam around in the daily and four hour charts. Okay, this is a daily time frame right now. And with a daily time frame, I could get a very, very good idea of what the current trend is. But now, when I want to really look at what's going on, I'll go further back to see the bigger picture. In trading, you have, you have to see the bigger picture in order to be successful. So I, this is the weekly chart here. And sometimes I go as far back as the monthly chart because I just really, really want to get a good grip of what's going on overall. So first you want to, you want to look at the overall trend. Is it going up? Is it going down? You know, you want to see the trend. The reason why is because you want to always trade with the trend, not against the trend. You never want to trade against the overall trend. It is just you're setting yourself up for a difficult time for no reason. Uh, your probably your your um, percentage or your winning percentage goes down if you try to trade against a trend. Um, your probability goes down. So there's many factors on why you should not trade against a trend. Against a trend. So the first thing is to always trade with the trend. Um, so that's what we what we're doing basically when we're doing a top down analysis. Always start at the top of at the top end of the charts and then work your way down um, um one second all right so so for example we can grab this and kind of you know see where this has been um where it bounced so you can see we're we're at a uptrend because we started down here it went up 
and went back down we bounced right here there was a bounce so now we know that this is this is a support this support probably started it might have even started earlier let me see let's we can we can we can look at that let's see so it would have to be here which the price would be way down here that the chart doesn't even go that far back but either way um we're just trying to figure out where where this is coming from you know this is every candle represents one month if you don't know what uh what the different time frames mean every candlestick that you see right here represents one month okay as i change time frames the candlesticks represent something different so i'm looking here i see that we're in an uptrend currently right uh, and the last two months have been green the last four out of five months have been green so we're clearly in an uptrend so now I'm going to another thing I like to do is I like to look for resistances up here at the at the monthly so these any resistance you find at the monthly are gonna be any resistance or support you find up here are gonna be pretty major because if they're affecting the the entire month candle then they are very major resistance as you can see here we're currently at a 12,000 resistance this month. Now, have we seen that resistance before? Yes, we have. Uh, we saw it one, two, three, three different months. It hit 12,000 and dropped back below and couldn't end on top of over 12,000. The last time that we ended over 12,000, which was over here, 2017, December, the when, that's when we hit the all time high. We closed above 12,000 and then the next month we closed below 12,000. So 12,000 is obviously a pretty major resistance zone here. Um, and then you can see, and then you can look at you know what else. Okay, what else has been resistance? So right here, the 10,000 to 11,000 level has been a pretty high uh, resistance. You can see a lot of rejections here. You can see more rejections here. Four reject for through four months in a row rejected. Um, last month we did close above it, so now it's flipped into a resistance, right? So now that 11,000 zone, now you can say, okay, that's a, that's a pretty strong, pretty significant support. Now, Resi once you break over resistance, resistance turns into support. Um, so that's that's definitely a good um, way to think about that. Now, now let's go this drop down. Now that we've you know taken in and got some idea of what's going on on the monthly chart let's drop to the weekly charts now the weekly charts the same thing now what changes is each candle represents one week right so now we're gonna look we're zooming in a bit on what's really going on you know so you wanna you wanna see exactly how everything's been moving within that monthly those monthly candles and this breaks it down for you more so we can see you know we we got rejected at 11.5, we're at 12,000. We dropped all the way down, boom. And then we started back up. This was what, March of this year? This is when the Corona. So Corona really dropped us down, really all the way down to 11,000. I mean, I'm sorry, 3,596. You could, you could see it up here. Uh, the O means open, H means high, L means close, C means close. L means low, C means, I swear I could speak English. L means low, C means close. And then it tells you, you know, what, what happened during that time. So um, you'll see that's when the Corona hit. And then ever since then, we've been trending up. So we can actually grab the same. Let me see if I could grab it. Right, right things like way down there now so let's grab this we can put it over here and then let's grab this other the other end and this kind of gives us an idea of where you know where we can buy so now we're looking at it on the weekly you see on the weekly it's been pretty much going up here it had a little a little bit of issue boom when it hit this little area right here 
which was 9,000, then it took off again. So the, the thought process would be, okay, if we start consolidating here again, when we get to this part right here, right, it's a pretty good risk reward play to enter long to see if we can break out just like we did here. So that that's what we're what we would use this for. All right. So now we have a, a kind of an idea of what it looks like on the weekly. So now I go down to the daily. So now the daily we zoom in even more, right? Now we can see exactly what's going on here. We see that we have a bull flag pattern here. Let's see if we go to the weekly. Do we have a bull flag pattern? So on the weekly, we had a bull flag pattern here, right? We had this bull flag pattern. So this this is why when we were in this area, we were very, very, very bullish this whole time. And um, anyone that was in our group, uh, anyone that you know follows us, they knew that we were very, very bullish here. This is a weekly bull flag. That is a very, very high probability long play. Very high probability bullish play. Boom, it broke out and then now we're here. Now it's still too early on to tell, but it could, we could be looking at another bullish flag right here, right? So the flag could range honestly anywhere from 11,000 to 12,000. So that's why it's kind of risky to play it right now here because it's such a big range. It's a thousand dollar range, you know? So um, I'm playing breakouts and some supports but um, the main thing I'm playing right now is breakouts because we want to catch the same the same break that we had here. We want to catch that. That's what we're looking for. So we're going to be playing uh, mostly the breakouts here unless we, we pull back a little bit more closer to the 11,000 range. All right. So let's go back to the daily. The daily, we do have a bull flag on the daily, but it's not as high probability as a weekly because it's a smaller time frame even though it still is a high probability setup um but here we go so we're currently consolidating on the daily right we're having we're, we're struggling getting over this 12,000 we're trying to get the, the, you know over that we have to close over it we haven't been able to close we well we had this close and then we dropped right back down so we're trying to get a, a full candle close over that without you know going back down under it um so yeah, that's where that's the daily. So now, you know, what I like to do if I'm interested in this chart, I'm like, okay, so let me go down to the four hours. So I go from the daily to the four hour chart and I take a basically zoom in to what's going on in on that bull flag pattern that I'm seeing, right? So we can see here that it's been going up to 12, drops back to 11. Then it went back up to 12. It kind of, you know, it was just bouncing up and down, consolidated. It went up to 12, tested it again, dropped back down. Then consolidated its way back up, slowly grinded back up, went and broke through. So we had like a double top. A lot of times, double tops, um, people instantly think, you know, oh, double top, uh, that's a bearish sign, which could be. Um, so a lot of times when that happens, it sells. But you, you see buyers came right back in, pushed it right back up, and we broke through that time. So now we're trying to, uh, you know, hold that resistance. So 12,000 is now resistance turned um, support. Jesus, I can't, can't think today. Um, so yeah, so we have to stay above it so it could stay as support if we don't stay above it then it's gonna flip back to resistance and then we're probably gonna get rejected back down to 11 to then try it again um, so so that's that's what we're currently looking at now if you want to then you know once we decided like okay we want to play this ele this 12,000 breakout right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in now to the hourly chart see what's going on in the hourly so I'm like, okay, if I want to enter, ideally the, the breakout is going to be up here, right? So we want to enter above this line. So that's about, about 12,040. I already have it marked out. Let's say 12,050 just to be safe. Just because remember if it, uh, uh, what I said about whole numbers in previous videos, 12,050 would be a small psychological resistance. So we would uh, do it above 1250. That would be our breakout entry. 
and then our targets are going to be 12,200, 12,300, 12,400, and 12,500, right? Now, you might be asking why those are the um, targets. So notice that the price had like, see right here, it like struggled a bit getting past that and then it got past it. Then when it dropped back down, it kind of hung out in that area for a little bit. So that tells me that there's battles right here, right? It's a point of interest where buyers and sellers come in and it's also a whole number psychological. I, I always preach this. So 12,200 is a good area to start off as a your first profit taking area. Then the next psychological barrier is 12,300. You see here the struggle that it had. And then above that 12,400, you see here that it bounced between 12, uh, three and four, three and four, three and four. And then 500 is the major one uh, psychological wise just because it's in the middle and it's 500 people like that number um, so yeah so that that's basically how I go about my trades and if you want to zoom in even further in you know the other time frames you can look at that I look at sometimes it's a 30 minute time frame so you can really get a good look at for entries this is how I, this is what I do for entries once I'm ready to enter this is how I find the prices I want to enter so my breakouts gonna be up here if I want to stop, my stop's going to be kind of wide. It would be over here if I'm playing this whole range, but I would probably go for something tighter. So I would probably look for something around this range. Uh, 11,933 would be where is where I would put, uh, place my stop. Um, if I want to go in even further, the 15 minute mark, you know, 11,933. I like that number. Seems like a, a pretty decent number. You could go as, as low as 11,915. It hasn't since um, 12 o'clock, since 12.15, it has not gone under that. So that'll be a, a good stop to use. So guys, that's pretty much it as far as um, a top-down analysis. Um, I don't really go into uh, five minutes too much unless I'm I'm scalping if I'm scalping then I'll, I'll use the five minute charts uh, I generally don't go beyond below five minutes though um, All right, so Real quick because I haven't done the question of the day yet. I'm gonna just go ahead and shoot that at you guys right now The question of the day will not always be at the end of the video just these two videos these last two videos they have happened to be at the end of the video um, because I was trying to focus on my speech because I apparently forgot English um, all right so remember guys you can win a free month membership with our YouTube daily question of the day <clears throat> this is how it works every video we will have a random question about something in the video the question will always be in a random area of the video Find the question, then find the answer in the video. Post your answers in the comments for a chance to win a free month membership to our trading room. That's a $70 value. Winners will be picked randomly once the video receives over 25 likes. That number will change as we grow. So we did 25 likes yesterday. Today we're going to change that. Let, let's change that um, real quick, but let's, let's do the question of the day. In a top-down technical analysis, where do you start that is a question drop your answers below in the comments we will pick one random person and uh as far as the amount of likes since we did 25 yesterday today we're doing 30. we need 30 likes today guys 30 likes and we will pick a winner we're going to keep pushing it up so 30 likes we're going to go to 35 we're going to go to 40 45 50 we got this till we hit 100. I think we can hit 100. All right, and that's basically it, guys. Here's your question of the day. Drop it down in the comments. Um, guys, remember that um, to please like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification on the bottom. Um, that'll help you guys uh, know every time that we release a video. We're providing all this to you guys for free of charge. Plus, we're giving you guys free uh, memberships every time we, we release a video, guys. Um, nobody else is doing the stuff that we're doing right now. 
so um if you guys uh have any other questions also drop it in the comments we love to see questions if you guys have any specific requests for us to create a video around uh drop it in the comments as well we want feedback from you guys uh we just started this page again uh from we started we originally started two years back we we just got it going again because a lot of our videos got deleted and removed because you know how things are with in the bitcoin niche um censorship <clears throat> can't say that too loud but um that's basically it guys thank you for watching appreciate you guys see you on the next one